Right, so Leonardo AI is a feature-packed generative AI tool for creating AI art, okay? It is especially renowned for creating image assets for computer games. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you step-by-step -step how to use it to generate stunning images. Okay, so without taking much of our time, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to start by coming to Google and you can search for Leonardo AI. Just like so, and hit on enter, and you can see it over here, AI art generator, create art, images, and many more. Okay, so you can just click, and then the first thing you need to do, you'll be brought into this very platform. Create production quality visual assets for your project with unprecedented quality, speed, and style consistency. So you can see quite a number of things, and one of the key things I like about Leonardo AI is that all of the images you see here are copyright free. You can use them, you can share them, they are public property, you can share them as well. Even your own generation is public, except if you specify otherwise. So to start with, you can come all the way to create an account over here. And then you have the option to sign up from Google account or from Microsoft account. If you have any username or password, you can just go ahead and sign in and you can just click on this to log into Leonardo AI and start using it. So let me log into my own account and I'll see you at the other side. Now, once you log in, you'll be brought into this very platform. You can see there are a number of creations. These are recently created things, okay? A lot of people are working in the community to generate different kind of images, like many other platforms, because if you've used Mid Journey, this is a complete free version of Mid Journey. You can just give prompts and it's going to generate different kind of images for you. So these are created by communities. Again, if you want to learn about the prompts that gets to this kind of image, you can just come over here. You can see the details of that particular prompt that get us this. And if you want to be more detailed or if you want to modify these prompts, you can go ahead and modify them. You can favorite them as you so wish. So this is all this in terms of motion, photography, animals related. You know, this is anime, architecture and so on. You can go ahead and explore them. But for this tutorial, we are going to focus on image generation and canvas editor. Okay, so we will look at how to generate images directly from prompts and then how to edit them within the canvas editor so if you want to start creating new image you can come straight to create a new image from here and the ai will prompt you to start writing your prompt and alternatively you can check out the different community feeds what people have created in the community and then your personal feeds this is what you have created personally on your own you'll be able to see what you have created over here okay these are training and data sets which we are not going to cover in this tutorial because this involves a lot of training for you to train the AI to do what you want. These are fine-tuned models. If you have any, this could be the community models that people have fine-tuned and platform models. You can be able to see all of them. You can just go ahead and explore. But for today, our main concern is the image generation. So you can see we click on image generation. These are images I have created. And then you can come over here if you want. You can just directly ask any question. For example, I can say, give me a picture of fine cat enjoying music and coffee at the restaurant okay so you can change different model like the right now it's in the leonardo diffusion model you can have different kind of models and it's going to affect your creation as well so you can try as many as you want but just be wary of the number of points that you have because if you're on the free plan you have limited number of points okay so you have the styling over here i keep everything at default you can add elements if you're interested you can add even negative prompt you can say don't include this detail okay you may want to have the image don't include flowers in the restaurant Okay, so you can be very specific about what not to include, which is the negative prompt. Okay, so you can just go ahead. Once you are okay with what you have created, you can specify the number of images that you want from here. The default is four and you can go with the four because if you have many, it's going to affect your point, how many points you have. And then you can check out these different features, the public images. If you want, of course, it is public by default. If you want to keep it private, you have to be a paid user and you can make it private. And then over here, you have the image dimension. I usually keep everything at default, but then we have other much advanced controls that if you're interested, you can change from share. But I keep everything at default. I want my images like this. 
once I finish setting, I can just come over here and click on generate to start generating the image I've asked it to generate of the picture of a fine cat enjoying music and coffee at the restaurant. <laughs> wow, this is exceptionally interesting. I think I like the images. I like the images. These are four different generations of the same image, okay, of maybe different looks, different axes. You can see the cat fully prepared and serious. You can change the looks and even the appearance of the cat, the mode of the cat, just still from the point. So you can go ahead and play around with it. Now, when you click on any of the image, You'll be able to have the option to download the image directly from here. By just clicking, you can see I have just downloaded that image. You can see it free of charge. I have downloaded it and you can copy it. And you can remove the background if you're interested and do many more things from here like deleting and so on. Okay, so these are very basic things you can do. So you can go ahead and select from the available ones what you see and what and what can you adjust from the image that's giving you uh, which one do you want among all of them so you can just go ahead and create something and you can generate motion videos from this and um, alchemy upscale you can use all of these but you have to be at the, at the paid plan okay so this is how to generate images so that's about generation of the pictures let's go to the canvas editor we can just come back to the another ai and then we can go straight to canvas editor and then from there we can decide to upload our image if you have any image you can upload it and edit it directly or you can generate your own prompt okay so let's say give me the picture of a good lion with a school bag okay and sipping coca-cola for example coca-cola okay in the bush all right so this much detail and you can check around and see how many number of images that you want and so on and then you can see the width and height you can vary the density and so on you can play around with some of these big features and then you can just go ahead and say generate Okay, so you can see this is the image generated. This one doesn't look like uh, the picture of a lion. So let's go to the next one. We can see, okay, this one is quite good. Okay, it's, it's the lion and with a school bag. Okay, so you can see um, sipping Coca-Cola. I'm not sure if it gets the message of sipping Coca-Cola currently. So let's check the other variations. I think these ones also are not so good. Okay, then this is the best one so far. It has generated this one. So what you can do, you can do quite a lot as regards the refining. You can refine the details and you can try to regenerate the image. Or if you want, you can upload another image. So for example, let's say I cancel this. I don't like this. Now you can upload your own image and carry out very many basic editings from here. So for example, to the left over here, you have the pan feature. This is where you can pan things around within the canvas. And then you have the select mode, whatever mode you are, you can always come back to the selection mode and you can be able to move things around. These are the draw mask in case you want to use the draw mask. This is an eraser. This is sketch. If you want to sketch this text, you want to add text, these are images. If you want to upload an image or clear canvas history and download things directly. So let's upload an image from a computer or from a previous generation, you can upload from a previous generation or from the community if you have a specific one that you are targeting. So let's say we upload from a previous generation, from the ones I have generated. Uh, I kind of like, so let's say we select any one of them. Let's select this one with the sunglasses. And let's see what we can do to this very cat with this cool bag, sunglasses, and join in the restaurant. So the first thing is you can be able to select it and you can uh, move it around. By just selecting you can move it within the canvas you can rotate it with this uh, rotating feature up and down sideways like this or you can go as much as far as 360 you can rotate it to any angle of your choice okay so let's say we want to add in a text to this card so let's say we can come over here we can add a text directly you can click and you can add a text from here uh enjoying the restaurant Okay, so you can select the text and have very many controls from here. 
um, the color. You can control the, you can add different coloration. And then we can change the font family. You can use anyone. Let's say we'll go with Timescale Roman. And then you can pair out with the sizing. Okay, you can make it smaller or much bigger. And then you can um, play out with this. You can come to these three dots to have many controls. You can bold this, you can italize, you can underline things and strike through. And you can change the alignment directly from here as well as the, the spacing, the okay? spacing in between the lines, okay, line spacer. So you can see right now we can come back to the selection mode and we can select this text and put it somewhere. And we can extend it to make it one line. Uh, yeah, so this is this is much better. Okay, so you can just position it. So this is about text, and you can go ahead and change in different kind of um, um, features from here. You can impent or outpent. You can change things from here, and you can change the number of images that you may want generated at the end of it all, as well as uh, you can play with quite uh, you could play around with quite a number of features from here during your generation as well. And then if you are done with the basic editing, so you can just go ahead. If you want to remove anything, you want to erase anything, this is your eraser. Once you're done editing everything, you can just come all the way here to download the artwork that you've created. And you can see we just a simply click. It has just downloaded uh, the image for us. So nicely done on Twitter. So this is just a bit about how to use the generative AI, the Leonardo AI to generate some images and even use the editing canvas to edit the videos, okay, to edit the photos, that images that you've generated. I, I hope you enjoy the video. And don't forget to always hit the like and subscribe button so you can go ahead and explore on your own, try to see how you can use other people's creations to enhance them or to generate more images of your own, or, or you can use your own points, use your own initiative to kickstart some, some and generate some images for yourself. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.